Welcome to part two of the nerve impulse, which is the action potential. The action potential is what happens when the nerve is actually stimulated and there is some sort of response. And so let's say we've stimulated this nerve in some way. Now we've mentioned the resting potential previously. In this case, it would be at negative 65 millivolts and a voltmeter would record this trace. But as soon as we get depolarization, which is something has happened, the trace we would observe would go up, and would go up until plus 40 millivolts. This is the first part of the action potential, and this is depolarization. What is happening to make this trace? The first thing is down here, where it just began, and so this trace was going along resting potential, when that swing upwards initiated the time in which the sodium channels were opening. And so we have sodium channels. Now, sodium channels are here represented in blue, and they opened. Once the sodium channels are, in fact, open, now the sodium is, there's a high concentration of sodium on the outside, so the sodium will just naturally diffuse inward. Woohoo! I'm diffusing inward! Diffusing! 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 And so all the sodium rushes in. Well, it's diffusion, so not quite all of it will rush in, but a significant portion of it. This rushing in is what causes the trace here to move up as more and more sodium moves in. Now, this is temporary. After most of the sodium has diffused in, it's, it, the diffusion will stop, and the sodium channels quickly close. And no more sodium can diffuse in. When the sodium channels close, corresponds to the top of this trace, where it's at plus 40 millivolts. What this has done, when the sodium moved in, that created a lot of positive charge. So the inside is now positive, and the outside is negative. So we reverse this charge now. The outside is now negative. Put the negative sign over here, and the inside is now positive. Now that the sodium channels have closed, part two happens of the action potential, which is repolarization. At this point, the potassium channels open. And now the potassium, which is of higher concentration on the inside, can diffuse out. What you're going to see down here on the trace of the oscilloscope, which is measuring the potential difference, is when the potassium channel is opened, we're going to now have a down curve for the repolarization. And so it will drop as it diffuses out. At the bottom of this trace is when the potassium channels will close. Now you've noticed that this trace will have gone lower than the negative 65 millivolts. The difference in ions now is actually takes it down to, say, roughly negative 70 millivolts, negative 72 millivolts down here. This is known as, when it goes past the negative 65 millivolts, this is known as hyperpolarization right here. So hyperpolarization refers to this little dip right there. Now our potassium has to all diffuse through. We'll just quickly take it out, and it's moving through the potassium channels. And then the bottom of this downswing now, the potassium channels then again close. Now, we're, we're back at where we started from because since we've reversed these concentrations, the outside is once again positive, and the inside here's, is once again negative. But our ion concentrations are, in fact, wrong. Our sodium's on the inside, our potassium's on the outside, and that's the reverse from the normal. So even though we have repolarized, um, it's now tracing along, and, and it's, at, it's at a negative millivolts, it's not ready to fire again. It couldn't fire again even if it wanted to, because even if the sodium channel's opened, um, you're not going to get a rush of sodium from the outside to the inside, because it's already on the inside. So what happens now is a sodium-potassium pump, which has been working all along, now gets to work. The sodium gets pumped out for every three, and the potassium gets pumped in two, three, two, three, two, three, two. And so as that sodium-potassium pump is working, it will take this hyperpolarization, bring it back up to negative 65 millivolts, and until it restores the original concentrations, we're in what's known as the refractory period, the time in which the ion concentrations have not been restored, we're still in a halfway state here, and we cannot fire another impulse, 
sodium channels won't open and cause a depolarization until this refractory period is over. So let's just quickly get this back to the way it's supposed to be, and we can move everything around. So now we can, as we have observed, so now as we can see, it's back into the resting potential state. We have here our potassium back on the inside, our sodium back on the outside, so we're now in a resting potential. And now it could happen again. The sodium channels could open and we could get another nerve impulse. And so we're back in our original starting condition, and that's the end of the action potential.